Yo, what's up gamers? Today I'm going to do a unboxing of the Pokemon Rayquaza model by Bandai. Um, we'll do an unboxing and I'm going to do a very quick build as well. I do plan on painting this into the shiny Rayquaza. So I've got some um, pretty dark grey paint I guess. I'm going to spray it up. But first let's just see this kit. Um, well, actually, I should see the box first. It's the box here. So that's how it looks. It's got open jaws, it's got all these joints here. Um, I believe a lot of it's molded in generally in colour. So hopefully it's gonna be quite quite simple to put together. There's the screws, let's have a quick look at the um, instructions first. Go. Start, there we go. Start. The pizzas, it's all snapped together. I said, I think most of it is generally going to be in colour. Um, yep, okay. Just there, that's the stand, it looks like a cloud, it's pretty cool. Um, maybe I might. Like that, let's see, let's stick it to the eyes, mouth, let's throw the tongue in there. Um, all that's in green, yellow, sprues. So, what I will do first is open these up. various colors um, just now checking out how I'm going to paint this so yep all that can just be painted same color there the bottom of the jaw probably neck I might have to assemble some of this sand it down some glue yep some these parts here I normally leave the stickers in there, give it some protection if I ever decide to use it. That looks like its teeth there, some of its claws along here. Some black bits. Painted black. But overall, I don't think. I need to do much, I'll just cut all them out and start onto the build. So when I'm building kits, I don't like to use a box like this. This thing's that box, it's got eight compartments. Um, I build a couple of parts, put them in. Normally I'll put gunfire in this and I'll just go, you know, for example, head, left, right, arms, torso, left, right, peak, parts, and just cut it all out. And then do all the sanding and stuff later. Instructions just sit right here. Um, prop that up. So that's probably what I'll be doing. I'll show you what I mean. So that just props up there like that. Start building. So I'm just going to put this pop that up there.
Okay, so here we are, finished product. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, the model's pretty good, I like it. It's got some articulation. Um, so, arms go up and down. Um, these turn around. I just gotta be careful I don't scratch the paint. So what I do is to avoid scratching the paint, I, I disconnect it a little bit and then turn it and then pop it back in. That just minimizes the, the scratching uh, of the paint around there um, because all these gaps are painted. But, um, yeah, so. Mouth goes up and down. Pretty cool. Um, good. Now what I did notice was I forgot to paint the stand. So comes with a pretty cool stand, like a cloud. So he just sits, sits down like that on it. Um, so I might actually you know, paint that up a little bit, make it more cloud-like. Um, so yeah, no, overall, it's a, it's a good kit. Um, I've actually got another two of these kits as well, so um, I was going to have the shiny one for myself, but I think um, Little Ninjas cl laid, laid claim to this one. Um, Princess also wants a rainbow version, like the rainbow cards, so I'm going to have to um, come for a way of how I'm going to do that efficiently. Uh, and then I guess I'm going to have the normal green then. I uh, probably won't paint my one. Um, I might do some... Um, do some lining, like you know, just do some shading, lining, um, you know, dust it up a little bit so it's not just you know, normal green completely. Um, and of course, you know, where the stickers are instead of you know, stickers for the tongue and the eyes, I'll probably paint them. Um, otherwise, um, oh yeah, and of course, paint the black bits in between. Otherwise, I'm not sure I'm going to do too much more painting on the green version, I'll probably just leave it. Um, you know, minimal, um, minimal work for maximum gains is my guys Okay, so here's the finished product. 
uh, of the front here is a completely unpainted version and it's, uh, it's actually not too bad colour separation wise it does definitely makes life easier sometimes to paint uh, articulation is pretty good um, as you can see you can definitely twist each one of these individual sections here you can twist all of that um, back here I've painted the shiny version for Little Ninja um, originally I wanted the shiny one but I think he's um, taken a liking to it so I've painted that for him um, and then back here is the rainbow version um, Princess Elsa said she wanted a rainbow rainbow so I've gone out there and um, the rainbow one. The red's actually a little bit more um, glossier and a little bit lighter shade of red than that, but anyway. Um, overall, opinion of the model kit, it's um, actually quite a good kit, it snaps together pretty well. Even with the paint, if you um, shave off a little bit of the, um, of the excess paint, it does still twist through pretty well. It's fairly snug kit, um, set of colour separation is really good. Um, you get away with just sticking some stickers on. All it's got stickers for is the eyes and the tongue, and that's pretty much it. Um, so I may eventually get around to painting this green one, um, just making it a little bit neater and um, put some highlights on it and whatnot. But for now, um, overall, kit's great, colour separation's great, easy to build, easy to paint. Um, I've basically put the kits together in real time wise in um, probably under an hour or two. Um, and then in regards to painting it because of the colour separation and everything else um, it hasn't been painted very long at all just in an afternoon really um, highlights was a, another matter but um, overall very happy with the kits um, hope you enjoyed the video till next time bye